Today, I want to talk to you about something that might hit home, especially if you're like many of us who often feel overwhelmed with life's constant battles. You know, those moments when you're doing everything you can, praying, trusting, yet still holding on to the fear and anxiety that things might not work out. Let's be honest, sometimes, it's hard to truly let go and leave things in God's hands, isn't it? But here's the truth, God wants you to bring everything to Him. He wants you to pray about everything, big or small, but more than that, He wants you to leave it in His hands after you pray. That's where real peace comes from. Let's dive into this together because I know God has a word for you today. First, let's remind ourselves why prayer is so powerful. When you pray, you're not just speaking into the air or going through some religious routine. No, my friend, you are entering into a divine conversation with the creator of the universe. Think about that for a second. You have access to the King of Kings, the one who spoke the world into existence, and he's listening to you, yes, you. Philippians 4, 6 gives us this amazing promise, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Notice something here. God isn't just interested in your prayers, He's interested in giving you peace. He knows that life is hard, and He knows that we naturally want to worry about how things will turn out. But through prayer, He offers something greater than any solution we could conjure up, his peace. But let's be real. Even though we know God is powerful, even though we believe He's good, it can still be hard to let go after we pray. You might pray about a difficult situation at work, a family issue, your health, or even your future, but as soon as you say, Amen, you find yourself back in the driver's seat, trying to control the outcome. It's almost like we think if we worry enough, we can change things. But you and I both know that's not how it works. Why is it so hard to let go? It's because surrender feels like losing control. And as human beings, we love control. We want to fix things. We want to know how and when God is going to answer. But here's where faith comes in. Faith says, God, even if I don't see it, even if I don't understand it, I trust you. Let me tell you this, letting go is not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of deep faith. It's you saying, Lord, I trust your plan more than mine. I trust your timing more than mine. I believe that you are working all things for my good, even when I can't see it. Now, let's think about who we are trusting. We're not putting our faith in a distant, uncaring God. We're trusting the one who loves us more than we can even comprehend. Romans 8.32 says, He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? God proved his love for you when he sent Jesus to die for you. He didn't have to, but he wanted to because he loves you that much. So, if he was willing to go to the cross for you, don't you think he's willing and able to take care of the concerns on your heart? There's nothing too big or too small for God. He's not too busy for you. Your struggles matter to him because you matter to him. And he's more than capable of handling whatever you're facing. Here's the beauty of it all. When you pray and truly leave it in God's hands, you experience a freedom that only comes from surrender. 
You're no longer burdened by the weight of trying to control everything. You can rest knowing that God is working behind the scenes, even when you don't see it. Proverbs 3, 5 is a verse we've heard so many times, but it holds such profound truth. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. This doesn't mean everything will work out exactly how we want it to, but it does mean that God is directing our steps for His glory and our good. We may not understand it all, but we don't have to. We just have to trust Him. So, what is it that you're holding on to? What worry, fear, or situation are you struggling to let go of? I want to encourage you today, take it to God in prayer and then, leave it there. Don't pick it back up. Don't try to figure it all out on your own. Remember, God is faithful. He has a track record of keeping his promises. He sees you, he loves you, and he's working it out. So, pray and leave it in his hands, because that's where it belongs. The same God who hung the stars in the sky is the same God who's holding your life together. And when you leave your concerns in his hands, you can rest assured that they are in the best hands possible. Trust him, my friend. Pray, and then truly let go. God's got this, and he's got you. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you this morning, grateful for the gift of a new day and the chance to start fresh in your presence. As the sun rises, I lift my heart to you, acknowledging that you are my source of strength, peace, and hope. Thank you for your faithfulness and for always hearing my prayers. Lord, today I choose to surrender all my worries, fears, and concerns into your hands. I know that you are in control, even when I don't see the full picture. Help me to trust you more deeply, to have faith that you are working everything out for my good, and to rest in the assurance that your plans for me are perfect. Give me the strength to let go of what I cannot control. Teach me to pray, to lay my burdens at your feet, and then to release them, trusting that you are already at work. Help me to remember that your timing is perfect and that you are never late, always faithful to fulfill your promises. Father, guide me today in every decision, every step, and every moment. May I walk in your peace, knowing that as I entrust my life to you, I am held by your unfailing love. Replace my anxiety with confidence in you, and my worry with the joy of your presence. Thank you for being my refuge and strength. I trust you, Lord, and I place this day completely in your hands. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.